Hi, second grade friends, Mrs. Livingston here. And this week we are going to talk about authors. Doing an author study is really fun, but it was actually very difficult to pick one to talk to you about. I love so many authors, but thinking about second grade, I decided on teaching you about the author Mac Barnett. Before I talk about him, I'm going to talk about some other authors that I love, and I'm going to talk about writing. First of all, I'm very proud of you. You have been writing fiction and nonfiction, and you know what it is to write. There are so many different types of writing. There's novels and chapter books. There are poets who write poetry. There are journalists who write the news and for newspapers and magazines. And there are screenwriters who write for TV and movies. Being a writer can take all sorts of different forms. And there are so many books that we just love in our libraries and that you have access to reading. The Yasmin books is a great series. It's realistic fiction, and it's written by Sadia Faruqi. She's an awesome writer. She actually came to Eastover, and we talked to her and shared with her all of her ideas about writing and how she produces books that she does. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. <laughs> you might have been reading the pigeon books and the elephant and piggy books and Nuffle Bunny since kindergarten, and that's what Mo Willems looks like. Maybe you never knew what these authors look like or how they are, and this is why it's so great to do author studies. Matthew Cherry wrote Hair Love. Great book. Actually, it won an animated short. So it won like an Oscar for a short movie, animation movie, based on the book. We love Ugly Cat and Pablo, Princess in Black by Shannon Hale, and of course, Dave Pilkey, who writes the graphic novel Dogman, and he also writes Captain Underpants in different novels that totally make us giggle and we love. Nikki Grimes writes Diamonde Daniels, which I love. Dory Phantasmagori and Dan Santet. He's just a legend. <laughs> Let me um, kind of remove myself so you can see the screen a little bit better. And let's continue with Mac Barnett. Mac Barnett has written over 35 books. He writes picture books, beginning readers, and chapter books. I want to show you a little interview with him. This website, Rocket Readers, has 24 videos interviewing with Mac Barnett. And I just want to show you one. Let's see. Here we go. I think you can I got hear read it. aloud to a ton. My mom read me book upon book every night. Uh, and then as soon as I was old enough, she'd still read aloud to me. And then she would leave, turn off the light, and I would turn it back on and continue reading. Um, but, yeah, I think my mom was, like, uh, as a single mom especially, she, she really wanted to do it right. She had books on how to read aloud to kids, books that were like, here are the books you should read aloud to kids. Uh, she was always taking me to the library. Uh, she, she definitely knew, one, I think, how important reading aloud was, and two, how much I loved it. Uh, and it was, it was a centerpiece of our time together. Mac Barnett is a prolific writer. He's written so many different types of books, and I hope you fall in love with him as I have in all his books. He has written all of these picture books. He has not illustrated all of them, but he has written all of them. In collaboration with John Clausen, he has earned two Honor Caldecott medals, one for Extra Yarn, as you can see here, and one for Sam and Dave Dig a Hole. This author study, I'm going to read Extra Yarn, and I'll provide a movie for you that shows Extra Yarn in your second grade plans. There are so many picture books he's written that are just wonderful read-alouds. The Circle, Square, and Triangle are hilarious. Triangle, let me warn you, is very mischievous and keeps playing tricks on Square. Not only has he written picture books, but he's also written beginning readers. 
the Jack book series involves a very mischievous bunny named Jack, a cranky These are person, books. and They are books a dog. about Jack. Jack can be good. But he can also be, well... Jack. Meet Jack in a new book series from best-selling creators Mac Barnett and Greg Pizzoli. You'll love Jack. He'll make you laugh. Mac Barnett also has written chapter books. He wrote Mac B. Kid Spy. <laughs> he actually thinks he was a spy as a kid. My name is Mac Barnett. I'm an author. But before I was an author, I was a kid spy. It all started when the phone rang. It was the Queen of England. She needed me to find her stolen coronation spoon. And that's how it happens. One day, you're bored after school. The next night, you're flying to London to meet the Queen. Before you know it, you're wearing a mustache and looking out for Russian spies. This story is true. It actually happened to me. Yeah. The queen called Mac Barnett and had him recover her royal jewels. Mac Barnett also has written chapter books, The Terrible Two. The Terrible Two <laughs> is written in conjunction with illustrator Jory John. And Miles is a prankster. On my honor, I will do my best. Mm, Miles, I'm not quite sure. To be good at being hard. To disrupt, but not destroy. To embarrass the doer and amuse the man. To devote my mind to japes, capers, shenanigans, and lucky business. To prove the world looks better turned upside down. For I am a prankster. So be it. <laughs> Terrible too. The prank war begins. Mac Barnett's rather wacky and quacky. He also wrote upper, upper, upper grade chapter books. That's age 10 plus, and they are adventure. Extra Yarn. Mac Barnett wrote the picture book Extra Yarn with John Clayson. I will include the link of reading Extra Yarn. A girl named Annabelle finds a box, and when she opens it, there's yarn inside. So she begins to knit. Her neighborhood is dreary. It's gray. It's black. It's less gray, more gray, less black, more black. Chimney. Smoke coming from the chimneys. It's rather quite ugly. But she begins to knit and to be generous. And she begins to change her community through kindness. When a duke from another country sails across the ocean to grab the box of extra yarn. Will Annabelle sell it to him for one million dollars? Click the link in your lesson plans to hear about extra yarn. After you read the book, think about, like Annabelle, how can you be generous and kind to your family, to your neighbors. Maybe write some things you can do to be kind and share it with us. I did it after reading Extra Yarn. 
I wrote all these things that I want to do to be kind to my family and to my neighbors in my community. You can see the little stars, the orange stars. That means I did those things. Baked muffins, FaceTime, or video chatted someone. I walked the dog. I take out, took out the trash. I did the dishes. I would like you this week to listen to Extra Yarn and then to think about what can you do that's very kind for your community or your family. Or you can choose to go on Capstone Library and look up this 10-minute yarn project. Do a yarn project if you have some yarn. Extra yarn. Try Epic if you have time and you can hear an audiobook of Extra Yarn or watch the movie. It's included in your second grade lesson plan. You can also read this book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kamkwamba. He, like Annabelle, made a big difference in his community. This book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, is a true story of a boy who totally changed his community, like the fiction Annabelle, who changed her community by having extra yarn. Share with us after you read the book Extra Yarn. Share with us after you do the activity of what you can do to be kind to your community and to your family. Tell us, what did you do? Tell us your name and then choose one of the following to share with us. Tell us what you can do to show kindness. Show us the ball of yarn sheet and your ideas to be generous or show us a yarn project you created. Share with us what you liked about the book Extra Yarn and if you made any connections to your life or to another book or movie. Please go to the second grade lesson and listen to Extra Yarn and make a difference. Thanks, boys and girls.